medication dispensers. Okay, to start off, the history of computerized medication dispensers dates back to the early 1900s. It was first brought up when a nurse at the Colmer O'Neill Veterans Affairs Medical Center came up with the idea to use barcoding within the medical field. This idea was established when the nurse sought out that tracking numbers were used to keep track with, rental, with cars and rental car systems. The Colmer O'Neill Veterans Affairs Medical Center would go on to begin work on a prototype that would balance nurses' clinical judgment. This barcode administration would turn out to be an award-winning system that would be used throughout Veterans Affairs haircare systems by the year 1999. Computerized medication dispensers, in my opinion, was, was the best discovery the medical field could have ever came across. Within the passage, I will explain how medical staff properly receive medications from these dispensaries. First, providers make an electronic list that displays specific details on a patient's medication order. From there, the entry is displayed on software packages in pharmacies for editing and is later verified by the pharmacist. Once verified, the orders become viewable to nurse staff point of care. Administration time frames along with medications are displayed on virtual system for nurses to see which medications are due at what times. Next, medications are scanned and administered after a registered nurse has, been, has placed a medication order. Finally, a handheld barcode reader registers the medication and the software, then verifies the correct medication was ordered, administered on time, and measured in the proper dosage. In present time, computerized medication dispensers are used in an extensive amount of ways within the health field. For example, medication dispensers are used to reduce the amount of medication errors and improve the distribution of medications. Barcode systems are also used to ensure the right medication is being dispersed. Before these dispensaries were created, medication errors were occurring frequently within hospitals. These errors are referred to as adverse events in most hospitals, most of which are classified in different levels and have different degrees of punishment that come behind each. With the creation of computerized medication dispensaries, these errors become less common in health establishments and patients in return receive their correct medication order. These dispensaries have also allowed for a new right to be added to the five rights, which includes making sure the right medication is dispersed to the right patient at the right time and frequency and the right dosage through the right routine of administration. With such regulations being brought forth, these dispensaries have reduced the amount of potential drug-related adverse events. The future of computerized medication dispensaries have extravagant creations in store for the medical staff, but one common question being asked is if the creation of these new inventions will take away the jobs of medical staff who rely on their skills to assure quality health care to patients. With these new systems being created, the nurses can now make the direct patient care their main focus in hospitals. There have been discussions about the exact task of future computerized medication dispenser robots and how they will operate. It is said that the new robots will lower with tower over humans in size and capabilities of delivering medication to patients. The robots will be able to properly create oral as well as injectable medicines for patients. In conclusion to these recent advances in technology within the health field, it is possible to agree that these dispensary systems have indeed became a relief to medical staff around the world.